Welcome to Poppy's Kitchen in UK. Today I am going to show you a global recipe of a dessert and that comes from Romania and its name is Apanash. You, uh, spell, spelling is a bit different when you see the on menu P A P A N A S I. It sounds like Apanasi, but it is pronounced Apanash. And this, I when I visited uh, about two years ago, uh, Romanian Bucharest and Transylvania, in the, everywhere the in restaurants they had this. This is very famous dessert, and they are very proud of that because our guide escorted tour. Uh, of our uh, the, the guide, she all the time uh, suggested us, advised us that please order for this apanash definitely. And when you order, order before you uh, have uh, you having your dinner or lunch, because they will uh, make it fresh. In English, we can translate it as cheese donut, fried cheese donut. Romanians are very fond of cheese. The main ingredient of their food is cheese. They put cheese in everything. And that cheese is cottage cheese, like our Indian cottage cheese uh, made at home. So you can have it. But when I came back after eating that, really I fell in love. And so I tried here in my kitchen in UK. And there are not many restaurants I know, uh, Romanian, they serve this one, uh, this papanash. So I looked uh, for it, the ingredient, because when you want some authentic taste of a recipe, then you need authentic ingredients as well. Not may, uh, too many ingredients are there. So uh, I looked, I googled, and I found a shop, Russian shop, uh, far away from my place. And I went there, I bought them, and I made them, and it tasted really heavenly. So, but after that, I went uh, twice or three times maybe. But then, all of a sudden, I saw some of the ingredients are now sold in supermarket. So it is easy. That's why I'm sharing the recipe with you, you can uh, get it from the uh, supermarkets. I bought them from uh, Sainsbury, sometimes I buy them from uh, Asda, Tesco, all these ordinary supermarkets. So, but you have to go to the side of uh, Polish things they sell, that area or that uh, shelf uh, of Polish ingredients. So, only uh, very two things you need a Polish or uh, East European because it's quite similar. The curd cheese, or you can make at home paneer. What you make at home uh, or curd cheese is the same, just like that. I can show you some here. See that? Just like our uh, paneer when we make at home uh, with uh, vinegar or uh, lime or lemon juice. So the, uh, these are cottage cheese. So I have taken 250 grams. Uh, this packet comes 275 grams. I have taken 250 grams for my dough. And one egg. If you don't eat egg, or you, uh, then you don't put the egg. Because instead of that, you put more cheese, 25 grams more cheese. But usually they use uh, egg. Some people they don't use. And you need flour, one cup. If it is 250 gram of cheese, then flour is one cup, measuring one cup. And I have taken self-raising uh, flour. But you don't need to. Uh, if you have plain flour, you take plain flour, uh, one cup, and mix half teaspoon of baking soda. That's all. So, and then, Vanilla essence, I have put one teaspoon of vanilla essence in this dough 
and you don't uh, don't have to knead a lot if you find it is bit runny because sometimes your cheese is you know more uh, liquidy has got or the egg is more liquidy but i didn't have so it was quite good and when it is too sticky you just uh, mix a little bit of flour like we do when we make puri and some um, other uh, indian things so if it is like that so you can do that and you don't have to knead it too much like we do for the uh, samosa uh, dough or um, any other pastry or puri dough you don't have to just you mix up and make like this that's all and what you have to do now you have to it, it shapes like not the whole donut it shapes like ring donut so we we know that how it looks i'm taking one uh, this much of this and just uh, i will make uh, sometimes you can make like this and make a hole like we do that some uh, in bada but it is it should be quite big it's not like bada small one it's quite nice but it will puff up and become bigger than that you see that bit is sticky that's why i'm doing it my uh, yes another thing main ingredient i haven't told you that you need if it is fried donut you have to uh, have some oil to fry it i'm using sunflower oil you can use any cooking oil so my oil is here getting hot it is hot already so i'm going to put this and with this i need to make a ball to cover it up a small ball you have to make like this that's all so each serving you need one donut and on the top of that a ball so this goes now in oil hot oil oil is hot but not very hot because you don't need that is boiling hot it's medium hot and i am putting this ball also so let it fry it tastes really heavenly i guarantee you if you make it you will never regret and you will make it again and again so it uh, i'm waiting it should be done brown so by that time i clean my uh, worktop because it has, it is bit messy now i'm increasing the heat of the so now i need to put it here okay another thing i haven't uh, i think mentioned it that is that about this jam you can take if they use blueberry jam uh, blackberry jam uh, raspberry jam straw i am using strawberry jam this jam is thick so with water i have made it uh, made it boiling a little bit liquidy so you just don't uh, put the uh, cold water and make it you need to put uh, on heat so i have done that before i started this so now i have to turn it i want to show you you see that it it should look like this type of brown uh, let me kill it, clean it so it's not uh, uh, there is not too much hassle not too many ingredients but it tastes really heavenly i will uh, suggest you or uh, you know advise you that in this christmas you must do this dessert for your christmas party if you are doing christmas party or if you are not then it doesn't matter okay i need to that's all is done i'm going to put it on you see it has become so big now it was not that big when i put in the because you have egg inside but mainly the cheese 
and baking you know the self raising power uh, flour so now i am going to show you how it should be served here i'm going to put fast this is if you uh cementana if you can't get but it is quite good because it is very low fat it's a sour cream so that's why it tastes very nice but uh, you can use sour cream uh, ordinary sour cream but i didn't find that taste what i tasted there so it it comes with this cementana that is the you know the east european uh, sour cream all over is you know, that's why the polish count uh, polish shelves have got this now these days people they definitely don't get taste from other sour cream that's why they are full of that and whenever i go i find this really sold out sometimes now i'm going to put this one here on the top and uh, cementana or our sour cream goes there now i am going to put that this is my strawberry jam one they do also blueberry we ate different places different type of jam you see that how nice it looks okay one thing i forgot to mention i put when i was making the dough four tablespoon of sugar i used two tablespoon of splenda because i don't want to have to sugary that's why it is my personal they don't do that so i put two of this and two of this sugar uh, ordinary sugar and two splenda but uh, you don't need to use splenda uh, you can use this this, this ordinary sugar four tablespoon but if you are on sweeter side you can put one more but i think you don't need because you can um, manage that with your jam now i am going to show you see that you are going to i am going to serve it like this I'm going to move them away yes and i want to show you how it looks it is crunchy on the top but inside is soft and with mixing it it tastes really really divine and i can guarantee you you will never regret making it and i think you will make it again and again but it's a new dessert very tasty not you uh, you can't get uh, in the shops or restaurants very easily so it's a unique thing and uh for it make it subscribe to my channel and uh, give me your uh, views what you think about it and thank you very much for watching this bye